He's not that it's going to be removed. There is a chance that to be removed. It's not a one-time thing. It might continue because it is revaluated. It can just continue to happen. Oh, but that's how we work. <laughs> So I just got off of the phone with Amazon seller support and I feel much more enlightened while at the same time left completely in the dark. So I'm going to address five questions or issues that came up during this conversation. A conversation which lasted about 20-25 minutes. I actually recorded about 11 minutes of it, so about half. I realized halfway through it. Oh, maybe I should record this. So I'm probably gonna pepper some of that conversation in with the video here as I talk somewhere in the editing process. The first biggest question and most obvious question is why is this happening? Why is Amazon flagging certain items when we are trying to put them into our shipments? According to the rep, now before I start, the rep clearly is not the one creating the algorithm. He's not the one deciding to completely change the way that all FBA sellers do their business. He is answering the phone and he is doing his job, etc. But still, he does work for Amazon, so he doesn't get completely off the hook. He started out the conversation, which I didn't record, talking about how Amazon gets too many items and then, then they're not selling quickly enough. Items are sitting there for a year, etc. He said items are sitting in the warehouse for too long, not selling quickly enough. And he says, if someone sends in a hundred copies of one item and they only sell 10 of those in the next month, that's too slow. You know, as an example, that they're not selling quickly enough. Those 90 are sitting there too long. And I immediately said, well, I'm not sending in a hundred uh, individual copies of a certain item, I'm not sending in a hundred books of the same book, a hundred uh, CDs of the same CD, etc." And I said, well, that's not me. I do mostly books and usually they're one-off books. One copy. Rarely do I send in more than one copy. This last shipment, I sent three copies of one book, and the rest of the 103 were all one individual copy of that book or CD or VHS tape. So that took him aback, actually. He kind of stopped, and he thought he was talking to someone who was sending in, you know, 50 toys or 100 toothpaste tubes or, you know... 30 pairs of shoes or what, whatever it is, a big quantity of one item. And that is not me and that's not a lot of people watching this or not a lot of booksellers if you're, if you're watching this and you're an FBA bookseller uh, or a CD seller or a VHS tape seller or even a video game seller. We don't send in multiple copies of the same item, rarely. At least I don't. In that same vein, talked about how, oh, you know, sending in all these copies and there's hundreds of FBA offers. And I said, well, I have ta five tabs open for, for books that have books and CDs that have been denied. And the most there are of FBA offers on those individual pay, uh, listings are five, uh, including Amazon. So, you know, most of them are three, two, one, zero, right? It's from zero to five is, is kind of the range here of the items being rejected. So that does not jive with what he was talking about. So I felt like I didn't fall into that category, which for me was a good thing, because that makes me feel like this new restriction, these new flagging of certain items is more geared towards people sending in a lot of quantity of the same item, and that item not selling quick enough for Amazon's liking. It sounds like the new algorithm change, it's geared more towards people selling multiple copies of the same item. We'll see if that's true, but if that's the case, that's a good thing for booksellers and other media sellers. Number two, why is Amazon flagging certain items? Well, according to the rep, who knows? He doesn't know, he's not in control of the algorithm, uh, even though he works for Amazon, but I understand they're not telling him everything. So basically, no one knows other than generally too much, too many of, of the same item not selling fast enough. But that's just not true for most, most of these books uh, and other media that I'm trying to send in. Uh, some of them are longer tail, but some of them are selling at least one or two copies a month. Uh, and that's not, you know, that's slow, but there's not so many copies that, that doesn't make sense. And most of them are MF copies. And this is about, remember, this is not about Merchant Fulfilled. This is about FBA, right? Because all Amazon cares about is the space in their warehouses. 
not you know not the space in our garage or our closet or our bedroom or whatever. So this is all about FBA. So if there's not very many copies up there and the items selling once a month, well then that, that shouldn't be flagged as far as I'm concerned. If there's 10, 20 FBA copies and the item is selling really slowly, like let's say one a month, then maybe that's too many. But three? I don't see that as too many. Do you? So the answer to number two is they don't, he doesn't know, the, the rep doesn't know, you know. And we still don't know. It seems to be kind of arbitrary. Question number three, is this item flagging going to stop? Are they gonna revert back to the old algorithm basically? Because this came out of nowhere last week. Uh -huh. Based on the product performance and uh, on how the product has been, I don't know, it's been moving on the website. That's what the revel I mean, the revolution will do. It's not that the whole system, these algorithms that they're using now, will be removed. It's just that, that it's going to be reevaluated to see if the product, if each of the products independently, let's say. Uh, well, steel falls within this restriction or it gets out of the restriction. Probably not, according to the rep, but there is going to be a reevaluation on Wednesday the 23rd. Today's Monday. Well, this will be posted on Tuesday. So, tomorrow. So, the 23rd of March, there's apparently going to be a reevaluation. A person who watches my videos and commented mentioned that a rep told them that this, this new algorithm is going to change or that this new, uh, flagging rejection of ASINs is going to stop on the 23rd. Uh, now, according to the rep that I spoke to, that's not true, that there's gonna be a reevaluation and possibly a tweaking and a change, but it, that it's highly unlikely it's going to stop. Does that mean that the items that are now rejected are not gonna be rejected come Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Uh, or does that just mean that it'll change slightly and maybe other ones will be rejected and a few of those won't? We don't know. Uh, so one of those, one of the reps, either the one I spoke to or the one that he spoke to, is right, but this guy seemed to be pretty adamant about it. So I don't know who to believe, but we'll see on the 23rd if anything changes. So keep your fingers crossed, maybe it'll go away. Maybe it won't, but maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll stay the same. Who knows? <laughs> so confusion, basically. Number four, why does the Amazon app not warn us about certain items being flagged? You go out and you buy 50 books and you come home and they kick out 15 or 20. And there you're, you're sitting there with a stack of books that you can't send into Amazon. So what's the point? You can't do Merchant Fulfilled because they're penny books or because they're only selling for a few dollars and you only make a dollar off of them and you barely break even. That's why we're doing FBA. So after explaining this concept to him, he seemed to have never heard of the idea of sourcing that the Amazon app is why I'm able or we are able to source and find items to resell on Amazon. And if it doesn't tell us that these items that are gonna be flagged, then we're wasting money and wasting time. And we're gonna end up with a stack of books that we can't send in. And who knows if we'll ever be able to send them in, hopefully in the next shipment, but we don't know. So that concept seemed to blow his mind. And he was like, that's a good idea. Wow, they should figure that out. Yeah, I'm gonna let them know. Well, duh, right? but I'm glad I spoke to him about it. You no, know, so something like that that would say, oh, triggered the ASIN, you know, whatever, warning, and it lets you know on the screen, so you go, okay, well, I can't buy that. <laughs> I can't uh, sell that item on Amazon at this point. Mm. Yeah, th that's not gonna be implemented, not not just yet. I think that he's not even ready for, um, well, for the regular Amazon page, unless you actually go, list the product on your account, and, and basically try to add it to the, well, to the shipment. I think that they haven't done that yet. Right. But uh, that's going to be a really good idea, and that's something that they should be, um, uh, because well, that's something that we can, that we can put something, at least like an annotation or something while you're listing the product that shows you, like, uh, restricted for FBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, not yeah. available for FBA this time, something like that. And he said, you know, that's good. It hasn't caught up yet. The algorithm is brand new, so they haven't haven't made the change to the app. They're still working on the, on the new algorithm, which is why they're going to do a reevaluation on the 23rd, uh, which is why there's no warning in the app, which doesn't make sense, right? Um, I kind of feel like they should be rolled out at the same time, but maybe they can't do that. Who knows? Uh, so for now, we're just going to have to source normally, and if the items don't go in, then we're just going to have to hold on to them until this thing gets fixed or there's a way to work around it. The other interesting thing that he said 
uh, when I was speaking about the apps, the first app I said was the Amazon app, and then I told him, oh, other third-party apps. He said, we do not support third-party apps. And that was it. That was his statement. So I don't know if he was saying, we don't like them uh, because they're making money off of us, or uh, they don't have accurate information, or they're not supported or sponsored by Amazon, so therefore we don't support them, we don't like them, we want to distance ourselves from them, whatever it may be. He said, we don't support third-party apps. But I told him, which was the truth, that I only use the Amazon Seller app. And he was like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. I guess he didn't hear me say that. He said, oh, that's fine. And then I went on to explain to him about the issue with sourcing without getting a warning sign for the items that they're going to reject. And we went from there. But I thought that was interesting that, which is weird, that Amazon, uh, apparently, according to one of their reps, sales reps or seller support reps, does not support these third-party apps like NeedoScan, like a seller to F a seller tool or FBA scan like Profit Bandit. So there's all of these different ones that are using the API from Amazon in order to have their apps and they don't support them. But yet there's thousands of sellers that use them and without those apps, they wouldn't have those thousands of sellers. So it's unlikely that they would. It's, it's a weird situation. I understand that they, they have to say we don't support them, but why not just say, well, we don't officially support them, but we're in favor of their existence because it helps us stay in business and get lots of items from these sellers. The fifth issue in question is, what is the temporary solution for this issue? And here's what he gave me. So leave the flagged items in your shipment. Do not delete them. Okay, number one. Leave them in there. And then call or email Amazon with the ASIN numbers. So, you know, they're going to respond to your call with an email. You can respond to that email or you can call back. And in the you'll have all those there and you can give them the ASINs. Then they will send them off to some magical people. These are my words, not his. Apparently in the FBA department, I suppose, who will then make a decision on whether or not they will accept or make an exception to those flagged items and then accept them. Basically, they'll get back to us. It could, I don't know if it'll take one day. Within a day, a few days, I'm not sure. And in the meantime, you have to twiddle your thumbs and wait and not send your shipment out. I guess just go sourcing and, and get some other items. Uh, now, there's no guarantee that they'll even accept them. And so I'm going to try this out. I put back all the items that were rejected into my shipment. So I've got like 10 of them or so. And I have another 30 items to go, 30 books or so to go. And we'll see how many get rejected. And then I will respond to his email and see how long that takes and if they accept them. If they don't accept them, uh, then there's no solution to this yet. If they accept them, or some of them, then that's a temporary partial solution and we can kind of go from there. The reason that I called today was because as I was listing, I was getting a lot more rejected items. The percentage was crazy. It was like out, out of every three or four books, I was getting a rejected item. So I felt compelled to call because I went from one rejected item out of 84 to four out of 29, to now one out of th every three or four that I'm listing. So it, the percentage has gone up dramatically. So I'm glad I called, so I could at least get some sort of response about this. And I'm sorry, again, I'm talking about this, but this is a really important issue for FBA sellers, and we all need to call and find out, and and let's all, let's all get together through the comments, uh, wherever, and see what every rep says, because apparently reps are saying different things, at least these two. Uh, my rep and the rep of, the, of uh, the other guy that called. So we're not certain. We'll find out on Wednesday what's going to happen uh, and go from there. But I would suggest keep sourcing because uh, we're still able to send items in, just not as many. And let's hope this temporary solution can work, that they can give us some exceptions as in we're, uh, because we're not sending in more than one copy. And I hope you're not sending in an item that has you know, 15, 20 FBA offers, that's, that's generally not a good idea. The FBA offers are probably really low, you know, five bucks, four bucks, six bucks, um, even if it is moving fast. So this whole situation is frustrating, but let's continue plowing forward and not give up. Uh, let's see if Amazon works their way out of this mess. And as always, remember, keep booking.